Welcome to the sixth video of our iMachine 2 tutorial series. Um, we're going to look at different ways of creating patterns. First of all, here's the sounds I've loaded up. Just to give you an idea of, well, actually the kind of style that we're going for. Oh, that's a weird one. Anyway, um, where A is highlighted in the middle at the bottom there, um, if we go into step mode, we're going to take ourselves to um, the step mode view and that gives us this pattern here. If I press play, you'll see this light scanning the pattern. It's looking for things to happen there. So if I press that button again, that one where A was, I can pick my sound and I place those sounds on that pattern. Okay, and I can just sort of swap between those two screens and pick the sound and then place the sound, pick the sound and then place the sound. And I can slowly build up my pattern. So I've got two bass drum sounds and a clap sound there. Clap is on two and four, it gives me that, that solid backbeat. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're dealing with sixteenths of beat or semi quavers. Okay, so we just add the little details in our pattern. Um, we need a hi hat sound, so let's find a hi hat sound. I think there we go. Now we're going to have a look at doing this in a different way. We've got this pattern thing. Um, so there's default, there's live play, and there's some fractions at the bottom. The fractions are at the moment it's 16th so it'll play every 16th beat I just need to press and hold the pad it looks like I'm playing it but I'm actually just pressing and holding it and I'm just changing which subdivision it is and it just makes the hi-hat pattern quite interesting okay so yeah just makes it a bit more interesting um, Live play will just sort of change the volume as you press and hold, and default will just be if you're doing one thing at a time. Now I'm just recording this in, and it's recording all these changes that I'm making at the bottom left hand corner there. So I'm just press play now, I'm not playing anything, it's playing it back to me. Good, I like that. Okay, I just copy across and I can maybe add something else in. Not sure what. Yeah, I'll stick that in. Okay, so I'll go to record mode. Two, three, four. Ah, now I didn't quite play it in time, but I think it should be okay. Yes, it is. The reason it is is because I've got quantize set on the um, tempo. Now, if I do that too often, I think it'll it'll get a bit much. So I'll just keep it on one most of the time, and every so often swap over to two for a little bit of variety. There you go. Okay, and so that's different ways of creating patterns. Have fun with it.